I'm Gina Mizell here with Connor Letourneau. We are at Reeser Stadium where on Saturday night Oregon State moved its record to 3-0 with a 28-7 victory over San Diego State. Kind of a weird night from a lot of different perspectives. Victor Bolden gets hurt. Sean Mannion breaks Oregon State's all-time passing mark but doesn't throw for a touchdown. The Beavers are held under 100 yards but score four rushing touchdowns. What do you make of this whole performance? You know, I think it was wacky. I think... Uh, but at the end of the day, as an Oregon State fan, have to be happy with the way specifically that receiving core kind of answered the challenge. A lot of guys came out of nowhere. Um, I think there were three, four guys who entered the game, entered the game with only one, uh, with at most one catch on the year. And uh, so, you know, you gotta, they kind of found ways to win. And also the defense really kind of came into its own in that second half. And they pulled out a convincing win against a good team, and that's really the bottom line. Yeah, absolutely. You mentioned a lot of the offensive stuff. Defensively, San Diego State comes out, scores on that opening drive. They run a couple of tricky plays there on their first two snaps, then they kind of just gash the ball up the middle with, with uh, Pumphrey. And uh, then, yeah, you mentioned after that, Oregon State really tightened up. What did you see as far as the, the biggest changes uh, and what Oregon State could do in, in facing San Diego State? Well, one huge thing was they definitely seemed to figure out the defending the, the pass rush mm -hmm. and protecting the quarterback. They had three, they gave up three sacks early in that game and they really settled down. Um, you know, that second half, it seemed like Mannion was having a lot of time to make his reads. Um, and that, to me, was one of the big keys of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Now, looking ahead, USC this week, really quick. Um, Pac-12 opener, obviously a big game on the road. Oregon State hasn't won in Los Angeles at the Coliseum since 1960. How do you like their chances going into this week? It's going to be tough. It's going <laughs> to be very tough because, you know, USC is coming off a bye week, and Oregon State – even though they had a convincing win, it was they definitely put their all into this game. They might have a little bit of a hangover, so it's going to be a tough one for them, but it'll be interesting to see how they fare. Yeah, a couple extra notes following this game. Obviously, Victor Bolden um, dislocated his pinky finger on uh, one of those, that long, almost probably should have been a touchdown catch in the first half. Ramel Dockery and Kellen Klute both suffered hit pointers, so they were taken out of the game in the second half. So um, no bye week to, to get these guys healthy, so we'll see how they are against USC. And that was one of the things Mike Riley said, is that he most needs to see how these guys are going to be going forward. So again, for Connor Letourneau, I'm Gina Mizell. Oregon State wins 28-7 against San Diego State here at Reeser Stadium. They are now 3-0 on the season, entering Pac-12 play this coming week at USC. We'll see you next time.